Yes, the documentation team has been present since day one to observe and support the families during the first excavation in Kojo. And I'm really happy about the collaboration between UNITAD and the Iraqi forensic teams. Uh, we rem remain available uh, to the families to answer all their questions concerning this excavation, but also the next excavations. And uh, we also commit not to publish any pictures of the excavation. And we ask all our partners and all the observers to do the same. بين فريق مشتركة في دول يا العراق يا أممية متناسقة بيغرة قالك برشارو أول بيشي هادنا كرن شاوة ويفا كن وبرنامج يوان ويشلو بما سؤال همو شكلي مجي كرن وامقاشتنا قناعتك أنه فريق دس بيبقى بشغله فريق ينهل شغله ويدارتينه أمش شعملي واند رادينا مدبين تنسيقه كان يبوان وعراقي هذا يا وجهودي واني مشكورة ثقة ما فيها يا بقانا حقيقة أعمال تجري بشكل منسق ومرتب ووفقا للمعايير الدولية وهذا ما أشاد به فريق التحقيق الدولي طبعا تم استكمال كافة الإجراءات الخاصة بأعمال البحث والتنقيب ورفع كافة الرفات والأدلة ومن ثم إرسالها إلى دائرة الطب العدلي في بغداد لإجراء الفحوصات المختبرية وإجراء المطابقة وتحديد هوية الضحايا كما تم توثيق كافة الأدلة التي تم إحرازها أو ضبطها في مسرح الجريمة لغرض إعداد كافة الملفات القانونية تمهيدا لأحالتها إلى المحاكم المختصة اليوم تتم عمليات إجراء نهائية تتمثل بأخذ قراءات إلى موقع مسرح الجريمة وإعداد المرتسمات والمخططات إضافة إلى عمليات غربلة للتراب الذي تم رفعه من موقع الجريمة للتأكد من خلو هذه الأتربة من بقية العظام أو الأدلة The work is doing well We are using forensic archaeology crime scene investigation to protect, uh, document the evidence and the bodies found. Uh, yeah, we need to analyze the remains uh, in a spite uh, uh, we have some personal belongings and clothes. Uh, a scientific identification is to use all the information we have from the bodies and to compare that information with the data provided by families of the people disappear. To identify means to compare information provided about the person who was alive, sex, age, status, injuries in the body, dental information, DNA, clothing, personal belongings, with information we have when analyzing the bodies. So we need to see what kind of information we have from the families and to start the process of analysis. Next week we will start the analysis of the remains. Uh, the Iraqi colleagues are, were out there unit of observation. We will produce a forensic report about cause of that identification and then will be up to the authorities to, to release once the bodies are identified to the families. I think we have to be careful about the expectations. The identification takes a long time. It's not just to take a sample of DNA automatically you have identification. It's much more complex like that. Uh, we need to use all the information available. Uh, we need to have families with, with who we compare. Uh, I think it's important for the families and to everyone understand it's going to take time. It's impossible to predict how long, but uh, for the families to be sure, in, uh, the analysis will start very soon the next week. Um, uh, we will follow up the process, and of course, uh, the families can ask all the time, uh, all the time they need to how it's going the process. And, and we, we hope to have results, but it's impossible to say, to say one. So this was the first exhumation in Sinjar. Um, it was the first time that UNITAD that the, uh, was being deployed for the purpose of supervising a process, realizing that we have to build uh, criminal cases as part of an uh, independent investigation. So we spent quite a lot of time. Uh, I came up a couple of times uh, 
before Christmas and in January, uh, I met uh, the local uh, leaders here, the, the, some of the survivors, uh, their families. I spoke to them uh, about uh, the process to make sure that they were uh, aware of what the process was, that we were leading to a criminal investigation with uh, a bid to the Security Council resolution, furtherance to the Security Council resolution, and the various steps that we have to uh, um, take in order for that criminal investigation to meet international standards. Uh, one of the aspects, of course, is that the exhumation is an important part, but a relatively small part of a large investigation that is required to ensure proper accountability for those that are most responsible uh, for in, in Daesh, for the crimes that have taken place all over Iraq, not just in Kojo, but in Sinjar and elsewhere against all communities. Um, and also to manage expectations. I, you know, it's, it's very important for, for, for me as the head of the investigative team to have candor uh, with the different communities in Iraq, including the Yazidi community here uh, in Sinjar, that there's no guarantee that we will identify all the remains. Well, the process, as I said before, I'm, I'm delighted. I think they've, they've done very well. Uh, I think there's been very good cooperation with the United Nations, uh, with the, uh, firstly, I would say the, the survivors' families, with the uh, village, the sheikh uh, that is here, uh, with, they've been tremendously uh, kind and uh, um, uh, generous in allowing us to be here and dealing with us at all times um, in a way that is very helpful. And I think that's the first thanks that we that we owe. As far as the, the federal government, uh, as I said, everything has gone very well. The process has met, in my view so far, uh, international standards. As far as how long it will take, we'll do our very best. I never give guarantees or undertakings or even uh, a general assessment. I've, one of the reasons we spent so m much time with the victims' communities is to manage expectations. Our job is not to rush against the clock. It is to realize people have been waiting but also that the imperative is to do proper investigations um, so whatever are the results the community and any court can have confidence that those results are credible and have uh, are capable of withstanding any test in any court in any country of the world uh, at all times people have been able to come observe pray and every day at 11 o'clock I've made myself available to answer questions from uh, uh, not just uh, uh, your, yourself from Yazda, but there's no preference for any um, NGO community, not Yazda, other NGOs have been here, families have been here, uh, Sheikh, the Sheikh uh, and uh, other people that are resident in Kojo are here, and we've made ourselves avail available every day to answer those questions so that they will know generally w what we're doing, why we're doing and what are the next steps. And I think really for that I thank you know, uh, Yasta, I thank uh, the Sheikh and I thank all the other NGOs that are here because we have to be together on this. صراحة قلق بزحمات بو زيدة زيدة بزحمات بو وقت يفكرين البامة وقد ويغوجا فكرين وقد ديساني نوسا المكر بو داعش و سریه دیجی و مدفی مثلا مبعوالت کجو موجود و حماد وی هاد بانا وکرن بری وی وقت کیجی بزودترین وقت یعنی ابجیب و بانا خدا نت عائلا زانی بانا چعایلی وانی شهید پیگشت بانا بحقیقت و کیشکی مفقودا أريوله يعني ما قلق يا غادي نفريقي دول يا وفريقي عراقي يشارك يا تنسيق عالني في بناء وعندي وشغلي وعن قلق يباشا ومجد متابعين ومجد مستمرت قد موجود نلبالو عائلة قلق عجي زار وقا دزار ونعيالا ويا ايدوان شهيدة ومجد خوازين حقي وان وندان نبي يعني